Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are gonna learn about CVT color two plane. Uh, this function is a less known function, also a newer function for OpenCV. We can say in the older version of OpenCV, you will not be able to see this function. Uh, but this does not make it an uh, unimportant function. This is an important function, and by this video, we are we will clearly understand about U format. Also, how to convert U to BGR or RGB or BGRA, which is alpha edit format, and others. We are gonna learn with this video, and uh, it simply takes first of all the Y channel of the U format, and then taking the UV channel of the U, uh, U format. What these channels means? Uh, why keep the information of the brightness in the other call luminance of the input image? Keeping that information. UV is keeping the color information of the input image. They are separating between each other in that way and this is destination which is output image of this function and codes are here we see ok let's directly pass on to the code part uh, since I need a U format as input because this function you see clearly needs an U, U format so I need also a U format but how to get that I'm just uh, will get with CVT color which we see in the previous video so I'm just basically converting my LENA image to be uh, to a U format let's see the result uh, okay this input this output I'm okay let's why this input is not input sorry this is should be image uh, opposite image let's see this this input this output okay let's talk about this first of all this is the u output which opencv gives me uh, first of all let's talk about uh, the upper image this is totally same size with the input image even because it, i resized by imshow this is 510 510 something this is also 510 510 something so the upper image totally with the same totally same size has the same sizes with the input image and we call this y channel of u format okay this is y channel and you see it's in the uh, it seems like gray channel image okay this is totally equal to same sizes of input image also we call this as y channel this is the first one this is v channel and these both and this is u channel of the u format uh, they put in this way but we will uh, rearrange that because this is not totally correct they are just for for example if you zoom the first row this is the first row and this is the split to two this is the first row but actually this is second row starting this is the third row and this is the fourth row this is the fifth row this is the sixth row and goes on like that way they just put in the horizontal that's why it seems like this I don't know why they put this way but they dis uh, they designed like this so we need to combine these two also we need to keep in mind V and U channel this is V by the way this is the U channel this both V and U channel uh, is the half sizes of the input image what I mean their width already you can see half of the input image and their height also half of the uh, input image in here can be seen not half but after you put uh, up and down both of them it will be half of the height of the input image yeah like that then uh, let's delete this part and goes on like that this is get by the way get a u format then split u to uh, split u to each of channel because they are not OpenCV is not giving us as all of that splitted we need to split that format by ourselves what I mean you will understand clearly uh, in here what I'm doing better showing first of all okay let's talk this is U output but I need all of these channels by one by so uh, for example this is Y channel which is this one I'm splitting from here to here and this is U channel which is the down one this one I'm combining both of them and I'm getting this image so this is the U channel and this is V channel which is the middle one and I'm combining them and I'm getting this one uh, these codes 
here basically doing that I don't want to code by with you because it will make the video longer so I just coded before and they, I'm just splitting those channels uh, all of them into a mat format so I can use in the function okay let's continue step 3 is our function which is the topic of this video uh, okay this is we already get which is y channel we already get here and I am putting as input to the function but what about this this needs UV plane which is uh, will be two channel should be included but I have them by one by I mean here okay here V channel and here U channel I got as smart format in here but I need to combine them I need to merge them how to do that maybe in the next videos future videos we will talk about this again but for this video I need to use this function because uh, just I'm creating a vector including mat and this name is UV vector and I'm uh, pushing that vector with the order of V channel and U channel and I'm getting as UV vector because I can use uh, I need to combine them into UV channel mat format so I'm using that as input which is include inside uh, both V and U channel okay and this destination and this is the color type and this will be our output so I need to put that no this output destination okay I'm putting let's see the result uh, okay this is input which we started with then I just split it to Y, V and U channel then this is my output yeah like this so I get the same output but even if you change something for example uh, if you don't add U channel, let's see the result. You see, right? It's uh, totally crashed. It's totally wrong. Here. Okay. For example, what else? If you don't add the right uh, one of those both images you see below, what happens? You see, you get a crashed image also. Uh, yeah. U format we talk about U format how it's created which channel included and also we learned about how to convert it to BGR also this is Y alpha how to convert it to the different type of uh, BGR RGB or others and like that this video we I think it's very clear I explained uh, I don't know you understood or not but I believe I explained well about this function i hope you understood well also and see you in the next videos